Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FDL. My name is Josh and today I will be looking at Narcissus. It is a one or two player platform game in which you control two characters, one jumping up and one jumping down as they auto run to the right of the screen. The developer of the game Alex in an interview I had with him said he made it to be easier to play it with a friend and that's exactly how it is. I brought on my girlfriend who isn't necessarily a gamer but she did enjoy herself. I'm, I'm the one at the top. And I'm and... the one failing on the bottom. And we're just using one keyboard for this, which is quite an interesting concept, because you can play it on your own, it just makes it a lot harder. I know how I knew we played this on our own. I think it becomes more about timing. I played it for a little bit and it's like a pattern, it's like up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, up. The controls are very simple. Up to make the top guy jump and down to make the bottom guy jump. You can use the arrow keys or uh, W, S and D. A lot of the decisions you make in the game are whether to jump or not. If you're stepping down a load of platforms, you don't have to jump and if you do, you might end up falling down a hole if you time it incorrectly. If you're going up, you have to make sure you jump at the very end of the platform to make sure that you land in the right spot and you don't overshoot it. If I can just slide down, I don't have to jump. Next he has to jump. Jump! I like. Uh oh, that was my bad. We almost Dude, finished. Sorry. I was doing so well. Sorry. And when you both get it right, it looks very cool because there's a trail effect that goes behind your little guys that follows their pattern. And if you do it simultaneously, they make pretty kind of looping patterns. There's one level in particular where this effect is really strong, and you basically have to jump in alternate modes and it kind of looks like a double helix because you're jumping and then the other person's jumping and you basically both do the same up and down motion. Ah. Oh god this is this is confusing just so you know because we have to be in the same place. Oh my god you're in my way. <laughs> you're always in my way. Oh shit. <laughs> no. So confusing. Stop being at my... Oh, this must be so hard if you're playing this on your own. The levels evolve quite slowly and introduce mechanics quite late on in the game. First off, you're just jumping and later on there is a jump pad which you have to time to get a really high jump. And past the levels that were in the press demo, there are also switches to open doors and things like that. Unfortunately, I couldn't show them to you. Oh, these are the jumping pads. <gasps> oh, I didn't pay attention to them. Boing. They're really hard to get the timing right on. Yeah, they are. But they're fun, though. This they is are awesome. fun. Oh, no, I bounced off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Spring. Because these ones before don't matter, but after that, you have to hit them. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, oh no, I did it. Right, never mind. I thought ah. I buggered it up. Ah! My brain! Ah. My brain! Oh, that works! <laughs> Apparently, if you just button smash, you can make it to oh. the end. Josh doesn't suck. What's strange is that there's no real interaction between the characters in game. You jump separately, there's no real mechanics in which you can affect a platform for another player or anything like that. You just have to time it together and rely on the other person playing to reach the end of the level. It's really interesting, which makes all of your interaction as you're sitting next to this person or across from them to make sure you time things properly and you can go... Oh, my brain! My brain! It's local multiplayer only, and this is one of the great things about that format. It gets people in the same space, and they shout at each other, and they laugh with each other, and it's just good fun all round. You get into a kind of rhythm with the other person, where you listen to the music and you jump in time to it. There isn't a release date yet, but when it does come out, it will be out on Mac, PC, Linux, iOS, and Android. You exploded. Um. You exploded! No, it's definitely Your mum exploded! If you can't wait to try it until it comes out, there's a downloadable demo in the links, and there's also one you can play in your browser. If you like the look of the game, please do check out the links in the description, and if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like or sharing it across social networks, as that helps out amazingly. If you want to see more of this kind of video, then please do subscribe, and every week I will bring you awesome indie games that you can discover. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!